We're learning more about the 15 year old suspect in the Oxford High School shooting that took place this week, which led to the tragic deaths of four students. Seven others are injured and are still receive, some of them are still receiving treatment for their injuries. Now, we're learning that there were warning signs prior to the shooting taking place. And we're also learning more details in regard to what the teachers were noticing about the students' behavior, the shooter's behavior. And we'll give you more details about his identity. His name has been released. Ethan Crumbly is his name. And we're now going to show you what the warning signs were and what prosecutors are now saying in regard to the charges that Crumbly is facing. He faces two dozen charges, including terrorism causing death and four counts of first degree murder. In terms of the premeditation required for a first degree murder charge, this just wasn't even a close call, unfortunately. This was deliberate, this was planned um, well in advance and disturbingly so. Investigators say they discovered troubling videos on the suspect's cell phone from the night before the deadly incident. While they did not give specifics. He talked about shooting and killing students the next day at Hawksford High School. The Oakland County Sheriff says the suspect had meetings with school officials the day before and the day of the shooting for concerning behavior and another undisclosed issue. In fact, the parents were brought in the morning of the shooting and had a face-to-face -face meeting with the school. We did not learn of that meeting nor of the content of that meeting until after the shooting. So they detail some of the behavioral issues that the teachers were noticing. And by the way, detail is a strong word because they haven't really detailed much in regard to what his behavior was, what he was doing that made the teachers concerned. We'll give you more details about what we have at the moment. But there were also other warning signs based on his social media posts prior to the shooting taking place. And also investigators found two videos on the suspect's cell phone made the night before the, before the shootings in which he talked about about shooting and killing students at the high school, Sheriff's Lieutenant Tim Willis said at the arraignment Wednesday. By the way, he has pleaded not guilty to the charges he's facing. Also, another piece of evidence investigators uncovered is a journal that was in the suspect's backpack that detailed his desire to shoot up the school to include murdering students, Lieutenant Tim Willis said during the arraignment as well. And we have, you know, some more information about well, what the teachers are saying. But Jake, why don't you jump in first? Yeah, you know how many shootings there's been on uh, school campuses since just August 1st. So September, October, November, three months, okay? And this is just K through 12, and we're not talking college or anything like that, 32. 32 school shootings in the last three months. You probably didn't hear about uh, the great majority of them. Why? Because in America, they're super common. They're so common, it doesn't make news. Now, if you live in America, you think that's normal. The rest of the world, they can't believe it. Like really, you allow your students, your children to get murdered all the time, very regularly. Like, Well, you think about it, three months, that's about 90 days, 32 shootings. So one out of every three days, your kids somewhere in the country are gonna get murdered at their schools. Now, why doesn't it happen in any other country? And if you're in America, you think, oh no, no, I'm sure they're sh shooting people up left and right in the schools in, in Britain and, and Kenya and uh, China. So, no, they're not, none of them, almost no other place. They don't allow their kids to get murdered, we do, why? Oh, I got a hobby, I got a hobby, it's guns, guns are cool, man. Uh, and I need it for government tyranny, so your kids are gonna get murdered. Uh, not a big deal because I got a hobby. Uh, so. what? He's a 15 year old, why was he able to kill four people? Because he had a gun, you think he could have strangled four people to death as a 15 year old in the middle of everyone else? No, he, but he, with a gun, he does it super efficiently, just like every other killer does in America. We've lost our minds in America, totally, utterly lost. When you allow your kids to get killed, nonstop, nonstop slaughter of children. Because oh, the gun companies have to make more money and Right wingers are oh, no, guns, guns. To them, their guns are more important than their kids. That's the sick people we have in this country. And of course, uh, legalized bribery. So those gun manufacturers and the NRA pay off Republicans. Every Republican is corrupt. Uh, so they're like, oh yeah, I'd much rather take your donation and let the kids get killed. Who cares about the kids? I took your donation. I'm, I have more power, more 
you know, fame, more uh, money. So that's why your kids get killed. These are facts. They can make you uncomfortable, but they're absolutely stone cold facts. Yeah, and I mean, I, I, what I pointed out on the show yesterday while covering this story was just how, you know, interesting it is to have these two stories happen simultaneously. On one hand, you have the school shooting. On the other hand, you have the Supreme Court hearing oral arguments in regard to Mississippi's anti-abortion law. And the argument is, well, you know, we got to outlaw abortion because we're talking about, you know, babies. We're talking about babies' lives when it comes to abortion, right? But these tend to be the very same people under the same political group and party that seem to think that we need absolutely no common sense gun laws. I mean, the parents just allowed their kid to have easy access to this gun. And for the first time that I've heard of, the parents might actually face prosecution as a result. And they absolutely should, we'll get to them later in the show. But look, you like your gun and it's a hobby, you like to go hunting, it's your hobby, great. If you're a law abiding citizen and you go through a background check, you can qualify to purchase a gun legally. But we need to have a system in place to make it exceedingly difficult for people who are gonna break the law to, from getting a gun. You shouldn't be able to access a gun at a, 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 from a private seller without a background check or from a gun show without a background check. There's too uh, many loopholes. Yeah, I know, Anna, you're, I'm, I don't know if I'm more to the left, whatever I am, I, I would, to me, uh, banning guns outside of hunting and having your guns stored somewhere else outside of your house is an I would do that. And yes, right? Oh no, my guns. What do I care about your kids? My guns, right? No, oh, Second Amendment. No, Second Amendment says that you must be part of a well regulated militia. You're not in a militia, and it certainly ain't well regulated. Acquire some reading skills, okay? Oh, but the Supreme Court said, the Supreme Court also said that corporations are human beings. The Supreme Court also said that. Giving millions of dollars, even billions of dollars to a politician isn't a bribe. No, the Supreme Court is corrupt. I mean, if they're gonna make the Supreme Court argument, then Supreme Court said that it's a woman's right to choose, right? That it's a privacy issue. So you can't cherry pick what you like and don't like about the Supreme Court. But nonetheless, let's let's move on to other warning signs. And those warning signs were all over social media, apparently. He had posted this image of himself holding the very gun that he used to gun down his schoolmates. So there it is. I just wanna say one quick thing about that. Sure. You see, if, it, if that was the UK, that would be a huge deal and the police would immediately investigate, right? Here in America, pictures of guns on social media, there's literally millions of them because we have a murder culture in America. So they're like, oh yeah, guns, yeah, <laughs> guns, oh, I got my guns, I got my guns. Who are you gonna kill, who are you gonna murder? Oh, let's go kill, murder everybody, <laughs> guns, 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 guns. That's America, no other country does that. Oh Well, banning it wouldn't help, really? Um, you know what percentage of homicides are done by guns in America? 73%, now you're probably not surprised by that. Killing somebody, 73%, that makes sense, guns are much more efficient. You know how much are, in, uh, what percentage of the homicides are done by guns in the UK? The UK bans guns, 4%. Banning guns totally works, it saves thousands. In America, it would save tens of thousands of lives every single year, but we say nah. My hobby is more important than tens of thousands of lives, which actually at this point is not surprising because guys, the right wing now says, I don't want to wear a mask. I don't want to get, I take vaccines. I don't believe in the world's doctors, etc. So I'd 777,000 people have done, died from coronavirus. And they're like, I don't care. I don't want to wear a stupid mask. So three quarters of a million people died. I don't care. Constantly, the Republican Party is a pro death party. So every time people die because of their policies, they, their answer is, I don't care, man, freedom. Well, how about the kids who died in Michigan? How about their freedom? How about their parents? They don't have any freedom because they're dead. But you don't mind that because you have a freaking hobby. Yeah, um, so, uh, and just a quick side note on that. I mean, you watch the videos from the classrooms where students are barricading themselves. And it's just so abundantly clear that they've been trained 
to deal with this kind of situation. And that's the other part that's terrifying, right? Because we oftentimes discuss the loss of lives, those who are injured. We talk about the physical element to it, but the mental health toll is so severe. I was watching one of the students who lost his best friend, you know, the football player, the varsity football player, and he was just absolutely devastated. I mean, it has a ripple effect on the entire community. But going back to what the teachers had noticed about the shooter here, a teacher in the classroom where he was a student saw and heard something that she felt was disturbing. And they had a counseling session about it with school officials and a phone call was left with the parents. And then there was a separate incident, a separate teacher who also voiced her concerns. On Tuesday, hours before the shooting, a different teacher in a different classroom saw some behavior that they felt was concerning. And they brought the child down to an office, had a meeting with school officials, called in the parents, and ultimately, it was determined that he could go back into class. And so the sheriff is now saying that they're investigating why the educators decided that it was okay for him to go back to class because as we know, he later opened fire. And we know more details about what he did on that day because of the, you know, he showed up to court and pled not guilty. Prosecutors said video from school surveillance cameras showed the suspect with a backpack, then a minute later exiting a bathroom without the backpack and with a hand and with a gun in hand. The shooter began firing outside the bathroom, prosecutor Mark Keast said. After students started running away, he proceeded down the hallway at a methodical pace and shot inside classrooms and at students who hadn't escaped. That continued another four or five minutes until he went to another bathroom. Video from the school shows the assailant fired at the victims at close range, often aiming at the head or chest. And again, we don't, we still don't know what his motive was. Um, but this is what we know so far based on what they said in court. So a couple of you made the same comment, Jason Ray did in a YouTube Super Chat. And then one of our members with the handle ice cream and cake and cake wrote in, huh? You know who else talked about the, uh, talked about and made videos saying he wanted to shoot people and then did Kyle Rittenhouse. And so he became a right wing hero. The parents of this murderer are right wingers, MAGA through and through, we'll get to them in a minute. So I don't know why they sent him back to school after, you know, I don't know to the degree to which the school had information that he loved guns and talked about killing his classmates. But in America, again, because of the right wing, I know if you live anywhere else, you cannot believe it, but it's absolutely true. In America, that's like normal. Oh, oh yeah, oh, hey man, your parents got rights, man. And then you give a 15 year old a son who's obviously mentally unbalanced a gun. And then, oh, so what? He shot and killed your kids. So what? I got freedom. I got freedom, man. So, uh, look, the Republicans pretend they care about kids. QAnon has those conspiracies. Oh, the Democrats are killing the kids and drinking their blood, right? And then they say, "Oh, no, we're pro-life, man. Democrats killed the zygotes and stuff." And then they go, go one day they were going to be people, and well, oh, we care so much about the kids. And then you say, "Well, kids are being murdered and massacred nonstop at the schools." Ah, oh, we don't care about that. No, nah, guns and freedom. I don't care about the kids getting killed. Who cares? Well, I mean, the one lesson that I think everyone has learned at this point is that material goods and private property always takes priority over human lives, always. Yeah, I get, yeah. So since a gun is private property, I guess it's worth way more than your kids. Guys, it's not theoretical. You think it's not going to happen to you? There's literally a mass shooting every single day in America. That's four people being shot every single day. That's larger than the shootout at the OK Corral, and it happens every single day. You think it's not going to happen to you or your kids? It is, and then somebody's going to get in your grill and they're going to yell free. I got a hobby. Uh, 40, about 40,000 people die every year from guns in America. <laughs> we break every record. We, uh, no one's even close to us in number of gun deaths because no one's close to us in the number of guns owned. And uh, when you point out that it's leading to 40,000 deaths, they go, yeah, I got, a, I got a hobby. Okay, well, I got a hobby, it's fantasy football. I love it, I love it. I don't want, I would never ever want to give it up. If they said to me, 40,000 people a year are going to die because you play fantasy football, I'd give it up instantly. 
Who wouldn't? What kind of a monster wouldn't? You go, yeah, I know, but I really want to draft, you know, uh, Cam Akers when he comes back next year. Oh, I, you know, I'm going to get Tom Brady in the fifth round. So let 40,000 people die. Let 40,000 people die. I would never do that because I'm not a monster. But the right wing goes, yeah, I don't care. Who cares, man? It's your kids, not my kids. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.